Are we in focus? We are Hello. in focus. <laughs> like, hey, come right. <laughs> right on my face. Hey, everybody. Today, we'll be talking about levels and why you should invest in a good one. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Um, I'm Chester and everyone knows Cam, he's the owner of Systematic Homes. So in today's video we're going to talk about levels. What, what are levels and what is it used for? Um, different types of levels, pros and cons. Um, we'll show you how to maintain for your level and how to look after them. And last one is we're going to talk about why it's, it, it's, it's such a good investment in yeah. terms of having a good, reliable level. Yeah. As an apprentice, he knows our uh, 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 like backstory. I remember the first time he came to site and he had this like cheap brand. And I remember telling him to put it back in the car. <laughs> We're not going to name any brands, but I wasn't allowed in the site for that day until I got a really good one. Well, proper level. <laughs> We want to make sure that the quality of um, workmanship yeah. coming out of that level <laughs> is on his standards. Yeah. So, purpose of a level. Why do we use a level, Cass? To keep things straight, right? Can you imagine like rocking up to a job site and the, all the, the whole building looks crooked? <laughs> oh. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Yo. All right. Alrighty. Uh, perks of running a business perks and trying to do... This is why... It takes us a long time to get videos out because <laughs> every time we try to do something, I get a phone call. So what Cameron was saying is that he's been through sites where everything is out of level and created a lot of problems a lot, like towards a lot. To the finish. Yeah, it's more towards the stage. finish. Because like in framing, you can hide it per se. Like you, you can plane it, hide it, right? But when it comes to finishing, it's like in your face like a sore thumb. A level is just something, whether you're a seasoned tradesperson or a first year apprentice like me or someone who's just doing DIY. If you want something level or plumb, you gotta use one of these, a spirit level. So a spirit level, I'm just gonna use this one. A spirit level has a few components, okay? You got the machine edge on this side here yeah. and you got your vials. There's an adjustable vial one. Vial one, yeah. Two six. You keep going. Yeah, depending on what you're buying, you can either get uh, one vial, two vials, or three vials. Um, depending on the purpose of work that you're trying to do. Hey, Cam. And I can't find it. <laughs> the it's one over that I'm here. And it's in there. Damn it. All right. So you got different ones. So you got. Hey, look at this cute baby. So you got one vial, and then you get the two vial ones. Right? This is still a two vial one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you get a one vial and again. Okay, I'll get the one vial. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, buddy. I'll, uh, I'll help you out. Help, you. help me out here. Um, so you get the one vial one. This is pretty handy to have in your um, yeah. tool belt. And see how small it is. And then most common ones, you always have like a two vial one. Yeah. One, two. Even with one, a... for, um, one for leveling, one for plumbing, plumbing things. Yep. Horizontal and vertical. And you got these really complicated ones that has the three vials. Uh, care to explain that? Why? Uh, the three vial one is pretty good for like when you have degree setting because you can see it's got zero, 10, hmm. 20. So you can set it up to like whatever degree you want. And then, oh wait, there we go. So that's sitting at about 20 degrees. A few degrees in graduates. And so you can kind of have a- Adjust that. Reference point there. Yeah. These are mainly used for um, scaffolding. scaffolding. Like a lot of people use it for scaffolding due to the robustness of it. Sweet. Um, electrical work or hanging out frames. Yeah, those are really good for like electrical Brackets. works. Yeah. Something. This is becoming one of my favorites for like setting up noggings and stuff, you know? Mm. Like, because sometimes 400s work because we set up our noggings at what? For um, 600 centers and 400 centers, right? Those mm. are the most common. But sometimes in the 400 centers, you can't fit a 400. So these ones are so handy. Like, That's you know a limited how, edition one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. like, like how <laughs> Chicky was saying, like, you know, you get different types. This one's more for like block layers and 
stuff like that because it's got a more of a rigid kind of like it's more of a beater up a frame you know look like a screeder for me uh, hold <laughs> up bro let's, let's have a look <laughs> but yeah so it's normally accurate for if you're measuring something or checking levels less than three meters spirit level is a really good tool and reliable tool to use yeah a few pros over here it's faster to use compared to a uh, laser yeah because there's a lot of setup like we've done the laser setup mm. But there's actually, like if you're laying out probably like a small wall and it's only one of them, mm. it's easier to do like a, like you know just using the spirit level. Yeah, you just no. pull it up and then yeah. just measure whatever you're doing. It's generally more robust compared to a laser. Yeah. Cons: <laughs> these things are only accurate for measurements less than three meters, as I already mentioned. Uh, it's more prone to human error. Oh yes, because people, some people I've seen like. They don't take the time to get the vial in the center, like, you know, when you're putting it on there, right? Mm. They'll, like, just get it close by and then they'll be like, okay, go for it, you know? Yeah, we, yeah I mean, like, there's building tolerance. <laughs> yeah, there's but building tolerance, but you got to keep your own standard set of, high. Set of standards high and your workmanship high. We're all humans here. You're very productive in the morning yeah. and you're smashing everything out. And by the end of the day, your boss tell you, oh, can you just check the level for this one? And you just, it's Friday, you want to go home and you just want to go run up and go slap that thing. Yeah. yeah it's level it's dark you can't experience. see the vial experience you can't see the mm -hmm. vial and you say yeah it's level and then you come in the following mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. it's really off mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you come on on monday and it's like what the hell were you doing on friday yeah, uh, <laughs> and lastly maintenance not much to do in terms of maintenance but it's just good a to have. quick clean but like we have a Kind of like a beater upper one. As you can see, yeah, this one. <laughs> like we'll use like example this level to mark everything up and then we'll just join the lines with something like this. Especially on the floor because we don't wanna chuck that one on the floor kind of thing. Yeah. Don't use it as a straight edge. <laughs> if you're if you're using your circular saw, definitely a no no. <laughs> yeah, try to avoid chipping as much as you can on the sides, yeah. Protection while when you're moving. Um, moving these levels around, uh, Cameron already showed you the bags. Yeah. It's good to have, even though you have, especially in Cameron's van, they have these special slots for their levels and yeah. it keeps it protected. So that's just going on a whole new level in terms of protecting these um, yeah, levels. Yeah, like, I think more for apprentices and like, you know, general contractors that move around a lot. Yeah. It'll be more or less kind of trying yeah. to Put it in those bags you know and then like making sure you just take good care of it in that sense yeah so if you're like me and you don't have any space having a bag is a great deal yeah a curse uh, like, uh, yeah a curse test uh, it's been a while man all right uh, but it's like you level it one way and then you turn it around 180 that's it yep. yeah so you measure a surface and then you turn it around yeah make sure that you get the same reading yeah same goes for your levels and your verticals. Yeah. Right? And that's the same way you do the squares too, if I'm correct. Squares as well, yeah. So yeah. that's how you do it. A good building, like a good building, you, if you start level, you've kind of finished level, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why, you know, in the foundation stage, like, I'm so hard on you guys, like, you know, because if the foundation's good, the more you get up, the easier it gets, kind of thing. Mm. Less issues, less yeah. downtime, more time for us to actually move, move the project over. Yeah. Like it could be like a five minute mistake, right? But it'll yeah. take you like a half day to fix. Half a day. And I've learned that a lot. <laughs> As you can see, we opt out to use to using Stabula. We find the quality of measurements and accuracy of these things are really good. And yeah. Up to our standards. So that's the reason why we go for Stabula. Um, for our new viewers or like Anyone who doesn't know anything, uh, doesn't know anything, I shouldn't say that. So, so for those people who's not too familiar with Stabila. Too familiar. Too familiar with Stabila. Stabila is uh, Germany. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Stabila is a German company who's been making these levels for, all, for more than 130 years. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's, that's a lot of experience there. Yeah. yeah, so that's a lot of thought and care that comes into this. Um, the other day, we had Jody and Carl from Stabila New Zealand came around and showed us some of the products Stabila offered. One of the fascinating things that they showed us is Carl explaining us how they yeah, center. check center this thing. Yeah. Here's the cutout of a Stabila uh, level. Um, you've, got, you've got your level, you've got your vial block holder and your vial, okay? So the reason why it looks like this is so 
we, we want people to see how we produce and manufacture the level, yep. plus get the accuracy that the levels need to be, and, and for that accuracy to be permanently bonded to that level, so it will never move. All right, so what happens here is the hot resin gets pushed through the valve block holder, yep. then the caps get pushed in. Now once the caps get pushed in, it forces the resin through the valve block holder, yep. forces the resin down, forces oh. the resin up, and also holds in the vial itself. Now once, once the resin's gone in, yep. the technicians in Germany are then able, while the resin is hot and soft and, and pliable, they're yep. actually able to adjust the vial and the vial block inside the product. So what they can do, and it's to micrometer precision, yeah, yeah. is they can do this with the actual vial and the vial block until the computer readout tells them that that bubble is exactly in the middle of the, the two uh, wire lines. Okay, so once that happens, the resin is left to dry, yep. and that becomes a permanently bonded part of your level. And that is how, um, no matter what kind of abuse your level is going through during your daily builds, yep. the vial will not come away from how the technicians have placed it inside your level. And that applies to every single one that we do. And one fun fact that I found out from their side is that vials here. Oh yeah, yeah. It's designed like that. It's perfectly machined so that the light when you're measuring doesn't get in like doesn't mess up your reading. Ah so the so like you know those oval ones I usually hate the oval ones they kind yeah. of go oval. Yeah. Ah so that that's why they're square. True. Like to every level that they have. It's perfectly flat. Yeah. So it's for the now light. that you uh, now that you mention it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start with this one, eh? This is the Type 80 T Telescopic Spirit Level, which yeah. Sabila offered a uh, gift. Yeah, gifted. So, yep, machine edge, uh, vials, two vials. You got the lock, unlock system. You got your measurements on this side here. They also have these things. The little, uh, Sabila's little handy little uh, um, rubbers where if, if you put it on the wall, it won't slide all over the show. It won't slide all over the show, yeah. <laughs> so you only put one finger in there, as Kyle said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kyle explained it so well, that thing. And I'd, like, amazingly, I didn't know about it, that all their levels have it. That, like, you know, you just put one finger on it, it doesn't want to move around. Which one, show us? Right there, there's a little nib right there. See, all four sides. Oh, I'll put it that way. Yeah, so these, <laughs> this nibs here. Yeah. <laughs> That was, uh, was one of the learning experience for me when Carl showed me that. I was like, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Tech 196 electronic IP65 rated electronic spirit level. Why did they say electronic the same twice? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the T196 has an electronic display, one over here and one over here. Um, has different modes, different types of measurements, degrees. Yeah, mills, right. degrees, falls, and all that. Yep. Um, yep. These, these ones are pretty good too. Another. While we're in the digital kind of section, yeah. angle finder. You gotta, uh, if you don't have a fancy saw like mine, you know, the fist tool, where it's got its own angle finder, so you could like literally turn it on. And so you could go up to the wall and you could measure it like whatever it is. Sure. The cool thing that I like is once you lock it and see it's got a like you know it's got a funny angle instead of doing your mats and everything trying to find out the mats for that you just hit that yeah. and then see it is giving you a miter angle no way so you can cut it at that and it will meet up like miter so that's the electronic level Go, moving over to the plate level um this is not exactly what carl showed us on the day but similar design the only difference between what he showed us is it's got all the rear earth magnet it's more designed for the steel work and stuff like that still works while this is more designed for timber framing yes yeah. because it's got the offset little foot yeah. so that way your only reference points are here and here you can easily make all of it your reference point this side. Mm. Like, you know, you can just put it on this side and you could like, you know. Just like any normal level. Yeah, any normal level. But the good thing I like about these are little, these little feet. And since the biller knew it could, you know, it will get damaged because. Ah, it's consumable. Yeah. 
you can you buy can, new ones. You can replace it. Yeah. Sweet. Uh -huh. um, another thing that he came around <laughs> is the rotating laser. <laughs> Is this their flag um, flagship laser, that LAR 350? Yeah, yeah. Handy as hell. It was like, handy as hell. It's built like a tank. The selling point for this product is that yeah. you can control the laser. Yeah, you can actually control the laser. The speed, oh, the speed was so cool, man. Yeah, their remote is like motion activated. Yeah, so you can like literally like go like that Faster, and it will like, slower. yeah, and then like slower. That was pretty cool. Yeah, IP65. Yeah, that, that was a cool thing. Like you can leave it under like, you know, a little bit of rain and you don't have to worry. That's the LAR350 uh, in a nutshell anyways. If you guys want to know more about these awesome products, head over to their site. And um, YouTube, I think Stabila, of, like, Stabila has actually their own YouTube channel. I'll put all the link in the description below. Thank you to Carl and Jody from Stabila New Zealand mm. for coming around for and Community Friday and showing us and the lunch shop. Thank you very much. Thank you for the gifts as well. Yep. We Thank you for the gift. It. Um, um, this is amazing. Jody, you were you saying to me you want my opinion on it. Amazing. And that's the end of this video. Hope Thank you like it. If you like it, subscribe uh, and like the video. Like and subscribe the video. Uh, and follow me on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, follow me on Instagram. All the links below. That's why you got your own editor. <laughs> oh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, it's cold. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 h